Hi, welcome to the Sojourner Street. And this is Mariah, the producer and the host of this YouTube channel. And I have a new segment here, and that's called the Sojourner's One-on-One -on -one Encounter. So my first encounter will be with someone who gave me life on this earth. And that's none other than my mudra or my mother. All right, her name is Penny. So welcome to the Sojourner Street. <laughs> so Mrs. Penny, good day, How are you today? I'm fine. <laughs> I'm fine. <laughs> We're still here in Balanga, Bataan, in my sister's place. Well, uh, this is being recorded. I'll be asking some questions to my mother. It may be Taglish, so whatever language you're comfortable, so you can just answer this, okay? How many children do you have? I have eight children. <laughs> and I am the? You are the youngest. The prettiest. <laughs> the prettiest. <laughs> <laughs> so my other siblings might be jealous. Sorry. All right, so how do you feel being a mother of eight? I am so happy and I am so blessed because those eight children of mine, God has given to me and uh, I always take care of them every night and every day. <laughs> but they're so far, so how do you do that now? <laughs> how do you do that, mother? They were kids. I take care of them and I thank you also God because even they are so many um, okay, uh, although they are so many I was not atong naghihirap uh, hindi ako naghirap sa pag-aalaga sa kanila dahil ang babait nila. <laughs> Mababait sila at um, tuturuan ko sila ng be good and not quarreling with each other. <laughs> <It's still quarreling. laughs> and they are already older. I am so blessed because uh, these eight children have finished their uh, college. Alright, thank you. So now that you are turning 84 this October, how do you feel? God is with us and that God, He never leave us nor forsake us. Kaya na uh, about ako ng 84 but I pray to God that I want 100 years <laughs> so that I can serve sabi ko Lord byuda na ako pero ayaw ko nang mag-asawa dahil I promise to my husband na nauna siya sa aking mawala I, I said to him that I will never marry. <laughs> I will never marry again. Thank you, Lord. I uh, na natupad din yung <laughs> pangako ko. Uh, talagang uh, <laughs> isinaposo ko yung pangako ko sa asawa ko na talagang ayaw ko nang magkaroon uh, ng a partner <laughs> uh, because I know and I trust God that uh, God is always with, them, with me and 
He is my protector, provider, and uh, he is providing all my needs financially, physically, materially, spiritually. Amen. Kaya, thank you Lord for this good. Diba? Ang tama na muna. Oh, sige. Pagsalita inyo. <laughs> thank you Lord for this. may nandigaw sa inyo ngayon. <laughs> I can't imagine. May mga matatanda na nag-aasawa pa, so hindi na kayo ubi. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, marami nga akong nakikita na matatanda na byuda na talagang uh, nagkakaroon sila ng pangalawang asawa dahil Uh, yung sabi nung iba, wala raw siyang katulong sa buhay. Pero sa aking uh, pangako sa asawa ko, uh, tinupad ko yon dahil uh, talagang uh, ayaw ko na talaga mag-asawa. Pero of course to our viewers, it's biblical din na if mamatay na yung asawa mo, you can still marry. Don't feel guilty because if you're still young and you can, I mean, you still want to have a husband after your partner died, then you can still marry, all right? As long as that uh, person loves the Lord so much, so there's no problem at all. So, si mother, medyo, siyempre, 18 plus na yan. Parang siyempre, parang iba na. Tama naman siya na uh, huwag na lang mag-asawa. Ula, di ba? 80 plus na. Meron akong alam na uh, 80 plus na daw, pero nag-asawa pa. Pero okay lang yun kung yun ang feel niya, di ba? Another question is, ano yung nararamdaman niyo sa katawan niyo? Right now that you're 80 plus, uh, do you feel weak or still strong? Like... Younger people, what do you feel? May mga maintenance ka na ba? And how do you take care of yourself? I was so blessed and I thank you God dahil uh, I am already 84 but I have no maintenance. Amen. And I am strong. And courageous. That is the word of God that I I remember, and uh, that is my favorite uh, verse in Psalms 27. One, He said, "I am your light and salvation. Whom shall I fear? I am stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid?" Uh, I said to myself. Uh, bakit ako matatakot? Sinunod ko lang yung promises ni God. What are your beauty secrets? Beauty secret? Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> my, my beauty secret is, number one is, every morning, devotion, praising Him and uh, worship Him and uh, Uh, prayer and thank you Lord because He answered all my prayers na maging malakas ako araw-araw Do you exercise or ano yung mga exercises niyo para to make you stronger? I have so many exercises <laughs> I lift up my hand <laughs> I dance. Uh, <laughs> I jump. <laughs> I water the plants uh, because we have a flower garden here in Balanga, flower garden of my eldest uh, sister, daughter. <laughs> And that is my work here in Balanga. 
And uh, when I get up in the morning, I have finished uh, my devotion. I go out and uh, walk. <laughs> Walk in the sun. <laughs> Walk in the street. <laughs> and I feel uh, so much strong. <laughs> I always trust in God because of His uh, promises to us. The yeah, God will make us strong and courageous, giving us strength every day. Alright. So, ano yung masasabi niyo sa ibang seniors who are watching? Ang masasabi ko sa mga seniors ay number one is magdi-devotion ka, prayer, and when you have finished devotion, go out and uh, exercise. By the way, when you were younger, what did you eat during that time? When we harvest papaya or banana or cassava, I was really happy when I go to school because I bring linagang saging, <laughs> pinagbibili ko. Uh, rin. Pero we ate that almusal, hapunan minsan, even though we have rice, we ate that banana and uh, kamuting kahoy. It's uh, nutritious. And uh, I share it when I am in school. I share, they said I will buy, but I <laughs> just give them. I said, wag niyo nang bayaran. <laughs> Hati, ang nalakitan nito. <laughs> so, I thought you're selling them. Huh? I thought you're selling them and then you're... you're yeah, I am selling them. them but I have a classmate na talagang hirap na hirap sila. And they want to eat but he does not have money. And I said, oh... Uh, kunin mo na ito, wag mo nang bayaran, bigay ko na lang sa iyo yan. <laughs> Kaya, thank God na when we have so many blessings na natatanggap, yung mga, uh, yun nga, yung mga saging, mga kamote. When somebody ask, I just give it, no, no pay. <laughs> So you're so generous. Oh, yeah. All right. So we will continue this vlog next week. And thank you so much, Mother, for being my guest today on this uh, segment for the Sojourners One on One Encounter. Let's say bye bye for now and we'll go back next week. So say bye and uh, thank you for watching. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for watching and please subscribe. <laughs> Thank you God for caring for us. No one can do all things but only God can give us a good life. Life. Alright. Amen. Alright. So thank you so much for watching. God bless. Amen. Amen.